Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here and thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. I'm super duper excited about this one because we are finally going to be decorating for Christmas. I know some of you guys have already started and prior to this I kind of did too. But today we are going to be setting up like the main living area within my home. This is just going to be part one of my Christmas decorating series. So make sure you're subscribed and have your post notifications on so you can get all of the Christmas decorating and spo content and all that good stuff so um, last week I posted a Christmas shop with me and so you'll see all the new decorations that I'm pulling out now because this year I went with a new theme which is what I'm calling a whimsical winter wonderland so last year I did like a pink and red Christmas and this year I wanted to add in blue with the pink and red so um I really like the way that it turned out. A lot of the bulbs that I'm using here are from at home and I'll try to link everything that I can down in the description box. And so right now I'm just putting the hooks on everything. You guys be sure to let me know what your theme is for Christmas this year and what your color story is and like the vibe you're going for, where you got your ornaments and things like that. I really love hearing from you guys and just seeing and knowing that we're all doing something like cool and different for Christmas. Sleigh bells ringing and my friends by my side But it's not the same Santa I'm smiling but feeling empty inside Cause all of the presents are still by the So this year to go along with the whole whimsical winter wonderland vibe Marcus and I purchased this flocked tree from at home and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is even more stunning in real life. This is my first time having like a big flocked tree and I even want another one like this exact same tree but just on a smaller size because that's how like stunning it is. It is so so gorgeous you guys and I feel like all my ornaments just pop off of it. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you prefer flocked tree or just a regular green pine tree or are you like me and maybe bought like a colorful tree this year? I bought a pink one that I shared with you guys in my Christmas shop with me. And I even saw a gold tree, like a tinsel gold tree this year that I thought was really gorgeous. So another thing that I feel like really helped make my tree stand out was the size of the ornaments that I used this year. This is my first time like ever buying bigger bulbs. I usually just use the ones that are right there on the screen, like the smaller ones. But um, the bigger bulbs really made a huge difference. So with the smaller ones, I decided to make a cluster. Like I tied them together with just three of them and it looks so cute. And that's also how I incorporated the red color because the red is a staple within like the whole winter wonderland theme you guys will see it just all works together super duper well and because we didn't get a real tree this year i bought these little scentsicles i actually used them last year even though we had a real tree the real tree didn't have like a strong of enough smell for me so these scentsicles are definitely a vibe and they make your whole house smell so good you guys have to get them it says they last for up to 30 days the scent so we'll see if that's true or not um, and because I do have a flock tree this year, it does get a little bit messy down there. But now that I'm done decorating, I don't feel like it's going to shed too much more. And I'm just putting down this tree skirt right now that is absolutely gorgeous. It's velvet. And I got it from Home Goods for like $29.99. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause 
Yeah, y'all, it's official. I am truly obsessed with this tree. Like, the way that it turned out was exactly how I was picturing it in my head. And it is so stunning. Like, the light blue and the pink complement each other so well. And, like, the little pops of red, it's not too much, but you see the red and it's there. So, it's exactly what I wanted. I'm super happy with it. So, now, y'all, it's time for us to go ahead and decorate the sofa. You already know I'm using a whole bunch of pink pillows. I actually didn't have any in the light blue color, but that's totally okay because we're going to incorporate it. Uh, in other places around the home like on the fireplace mantle and the kitchen door is going to be a light blue so it's all just going to flow nicely in the end If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that the sofa is my favorite thing to decorate. I love adding the pillows and the blankets. By the way, this blanket is from Sweet Masonry and it's currently still on sale if you want to grab it. I think it's so, so cute. Um, but yeah, anyways, decorating the sofa is always my favorite thing. I add so many pillows and so many blankets because it's always so very cozy. Y'all let me know down in the comments which area in your home is your favorite to decorate. All right, y'all, now it's time to style the coffee table. And yes, it still has those scratches on it. I have not repainted this thing yet, but I definitely will at some point. I'm just trying to do things when I get the motivation to do them. I actually was planning to decorate, like do a whole house decorate with me, kind of like how I did for fall. But I just didn't have the motivation to like keep going and doing all the other rooms all at once. So that's why I decided to make it a series just so I can do it more so like at my own pace. Um, and still like have content for you guys to watch along the way. So so yeah, I'll, I'll do that at some point you guys. But I really wanted the coffee table to kind of be a little neutral and I feel like I kind of did something similar last year because there's so much going on everywhere else you guys will see this place is going to ooze Christmas in just a moment I wanted the center piece of like the coffee table to be a little bit simple so two of these pieces are actually from Sweet Masonry the little deers and these marble coasters if you're new here Sweet Masonry is my home decor line that I launched back in August and Earlier this month, we released our Christmas collection that is still on sale. We have a few things still available, and I'm praying that we sell out by Christmas. That is the goal. So check it out. I'll have the link down below in the description box. So now we are moving on to decorating the fireplace mantle and y'all I had a time with this like I at first didn't quite know what I was going to do up here and I started doing a design and then I like I didn't like it so I took it down and then I started doing something completely different that I am totally obsessed with now and for some people you might think like oh my gosh it's too much but I think it's like the perfect amount of Christmas on this mantle up here so be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below it's quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. 
And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh. I'm making plans, what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for you. Yeah, I just wanna hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon. Let's till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas So at this point, things are starting to really come together I could see a vision now I knew how it was gonna look And I was really obsessed with the design the two pictures of Marcus and I, like in the big frames, are from Framebridge. And I have a code for you guys that you might be able to use. So I'll have that link down below as well. And then I added some of these little trees that I got from Target. They are battery operated, so they light up, which we'll do in a second. But yeah, I really love this design up here. It gives me so much cheer. Every time I look over here, I can't wait for us to light a fire and have like the whole display up here looking super duper cute if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that me and garlands don't usually get along even though i think they are the cutest things ever every time i attempt to use one it just doesn't work out but i think because this one was from sweet masonry it worked out so perfectly <laughs> No, but seriously, this garland is so gorgeous. The colors in it fit perfectly with the design, and I thought it was the cutest thing. I put it up here, and I instantly loved it, and so did Marcus. He usually thinks like a lot of my decor is too much, but he was like, oh, yeah, that looks great. So I was like, okay, perfect. So he left it up there, and with these little trees, I'm going to be adding ornaments on them and also adding some streamlines on them. ringing in my ear jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear frosty the snowman is all around town watch out for rain these are falling down we stay up waiting for seven tonight we climb down the chimney at the speed of light while we're dancing around the christmas tree hugging and kissing just you and me So if you watch my shop with me, you know that as a part of my collection, we have these huge 30 inch paper ornaments and I had no idea where I was going to put it. In that video, I asked you guys to choose between the fireplace mantle or over the TV. And once I started working on the fireplace mantle, I decided that that, that wasn't the place for it. And I actually ended up, as you guys see here, putting it over the mirror and I think it looks really cute. When I go to take my selfies now, You'll see the ornament in there and the tree in the background and it just looks so perfect. Um, so yeah, I really, really like that. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think. And then we're also going to be adding these two little ornaments on either side. You'll see that we're going to be going to the next day in this footage because the clips that we bought for these 
like they didn't have a lot of friction on them so the strings just kept sliding off so we bought some better hooks and put them up officially the next day and I really loved it also I gotta show off my cozy PJs I love Christmas pajamas and I'll have them linked down below the set or the onesie I had on in the previous day was from Old Navy and then this set is from Old Navy as well I think right now because I'm filming this on the day that it's going live they might even be having like a Cyber Monday or Black Friday deal going on where you can get them for 50% off which is what I paid for them and they were only like 20 bucks a piece which I thought was a really good deal so I'll have all that linked down below and now we're gonna be working on the blanket basket y'all know I feel like every room needs one especially in the Christmas season so I'm adding some festive pillows and this really pretty blanket in a red color and then we're gonna be putting Marshy's toys out and that'll be just about it for over here on this fireplace wall So now we're styling one of the accent tables over here by the sofas and I just have one question for you guys. What do you think looks better here on this little arrangement? The bowl of candy or the candle? Let me know down in the comments. So now we are going to be decorating the last space within our living room and it is going to be this mantle, not mantle, entertainment center. So this is where I decided to hang the stockings because there was just too much going on over there on the mantle where we usually put them. So over here is a great alternative and then I'm going to be adding some fun little trees that I use every single year. They're from Joann's. They're so cute and fuzzy. And I love that they have little LED lights in them. And then over the TV, I'm going to be hanging another paper garland from Sweet Masonry. These are sold out at this time. Um, and I hope those of you who bought them have really enjoyed decorating with them in your home. So you guys, I am struggling with the, the design for inside of the shelves. I don't know if you guys can like see what's in there right now. But I was telling Marcus I was a little stressed about it. And he was like, okay, I'll do it for you. Let me put some things in here. And so that's how he styled it. <laughs> Notice one of Marshmallow toys at the very top. Her little Christmas gift. We bought her a dinosaur. I'm like, Marcus, this is not going to work. So you guys, I need ideas. I feel like I kind of know what I want to do, but it's going to be a whole lot of work. And I don't know if I want to do something that's a lot of work. But anyways, now y'all, we're in the living room, dining room. I'm so sorry. And I had the pink tree in here, but I took it away because I said, okay, I think it'll look better in the front room so that people can see it from the outside of the house. But now that it's not there anymore, I'm like, I think I want it back. So y'all let me know if I should keep the flocked tree back here. And then put the flock tree in the front window or put the pink tree back here and um yeah what should i do back here y'all by the hutch pink tree or flock tree i really don't know but these are the things i bought to decorate either one of the trees i wanted to use like a lot of red and white ornaments so i got all of these from at home and they are so so cutie and this flock tree it is not pre-lit so i had to string all the lights myself and i had a time doing that 
you can see it like doesn't even look great at all because I just tried my best to plop them on there I'm, I might I might go back and fix it and then I even want to add some bigger bulbs here to really make it stand out but y'all this is where we're gonna be ending off for today so chime down below in the comments because I still haven't finished decorating the dining room area yet at this present time but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in to today's video i love each of you all so so very much thank you for supporting my channel and for sending me kind sweet words over this past week i hope you all had a great thanksgiving and look forward to more exciting content for christmas coming up soon bye guys